Welcome back everybody to another Empyrean Workshop Showcase. Today we are taking our look at the Argos Explorer Starter Capital Vessel. The Argos Explorer is, as the name states, a starter capital vessel. The design comes to us from Creator Siege and the Argos is an unlock level 10 size class 1 capital vessel. It's clear to see that the main focus of this design is to give you a capital vessel you can easily build early in the game. Starting at the front of the ship, there is only one door leading into it, which is accessible by an automatic ramp. This doorway gives us access to our elevator shaft, which has access to the one and only ammo box in the ship, as well as one door that leads into the command deck where we have several passenger seats, access to three cargo boxes, but only one pilot seat. Moving through the door on the other side of the elevator, we come into the main section of the ship. This is where we now have access to our cargo boxes, a large constructor, our bathroom amenities, an O2 station, as well as multiple passenger seats, which in a single player mode, I encourage you to remove and use the space for other modifications. In the notes on the workshop page, it's also stated there's an armor locker and you need to try and find it. I won't tell you where it is, but I'll give you a hint. It's in this little area here. Moving into the next room section, we have our med bay with several scanners, including a med station and a scanner in the ceiling. We also have access to our fridge and our food processor. And the tiles here are placed specifically so that you can remove them and place down grow plots here and then in the ceiling, place your grow light. The door at the back of this room gives you access into the engineering section of the ship. And there is actually room here if you can reach up in there to place more items up top. Once again, the Argos Explorer is an unlock level 10 size class one capital vessel. So obviously you are a little bit limited on what you have room for. Despite that, the ship does have room for about 5,000 fuel spread across two fuel tanks. While stationary with the thrusters turned off, you should be able to get over 21 hours of power. The ship will hold about 1,900 oxygen spread across one ventilator, one oxygen tank, and one oxygen station. There is also the single medic station as you saw. In keeping with the low size class, there is only one cannon turret for your defense on this ship. Therefore, do not expect to use this to attack a point of interest. In total, there are seven cargo boxes, the one ammo box, one fridge, one food processor, and one large constructor. The Argos Explorer has very low resource requirements to build it. Dependent on the initial starting point for your game, the availability of resource deposits, and the supplies you collect from points of interest, it is feasible you may be able to build this ship without having to leave your initial starting planet system. In my opinion, the biggest drawback on this ship is the lack of a hangar bay or good docking location for your small and hover vessels. The notes on the workshop page state to use your small vessels by docking them underneath the middle bridge section of the ship, though I think you would be better off using this area for hover vessels. For your small vessels, there is a place on the top of the ship that would be very well suited for docking your small vessels, assuming you have a way to access it from below when on a planet or moon. While this ship has the advantage of being a very low cost, easy to get capital vessel, the main advantage I see for the ship is its adjustability. The ship is clearly designed to be modular, giving you room for other things to be added on the outside allowing you to keep the resource cost for building the ship initially down and then being able to add on to it as you are able. This means you can add more turrets for better attack and defense capabilities or simply add more fuel tanks or cargo boxes for extra storage. For a starter capital vessel with low cost and modularity allowing it to expand and grow as your needs do, this ship works great. However, because of its size class and limited space, this will not last you for very long. This is much better suited as a starting vessel to get you to the next planet or two, allowing you to gather enough resources to build a much better, longer lasting capital vessel. Once again, this was the Argos Explorer starter capital vessel. I will have a link in the description below if you are interested in checking out this ship. 
And if you do check it out and like it, be sure to leave a thumbs up for the creator on the Steam Workshop page. Well, that is it for today's video. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to hit that like button. Also, make sure you hit subscribe and tick the notification bell if you have not done so already. Leave me a comment below. Let me know what you think about the ship, what you like about it, what you don't like about it. And of course, if there is a ship design you would like to see me try in an upcoming workshop showcase video, be sure to post it below. As always, I am your host, Mr. Spicy. Thanks for watching, everybody. Be sure to keep it spicy this week, and I will see you in the next video.